Because we want to, of course, talk about what this means to other opposition leaders if they are uh, emboldened by this or if they are uh, intimidated by uh, this murder, if indeed this is found to have some political connection. Fred Pleitkin in Moscow, thank you so much. Meanwhile, CNN senior international correspondent Matthew Chance is uh, live at the site of that killing. Uh, Matthew, want to talk about that as well as this rally that's going to happen today. But what have you seen there in the last couple of hours? Well, Christy, incredibly emotional scenes. You can see all of these flowers that have been laid since late Friday night when Boris Nemtsov was gunned down here just a short distance from the Kremlin. You can see these are the red walls of the Kremlin behind us. St. Basil's Cathedral there just beyond Red Square. It's literally just 100 metres or so uh, from the office of the President of Russia where this prominent opposition figure uh, was killed. And you can see uh, a mountain of flowers all through the night we were reporting from here. And there was a constant stream of people paying their respects, laying bouquets of flowers, writing personal messages. This little one is a good example to Boris Nemtsov, look, thank you for your example of courage uh, and honesty, is what it says in Russian. And so that's the kind of tone of the messages, the sympathetic messages, the grieving messages uh, that we're seeing put out on the streets, on this bridge where he was killed. And so that's likely to continue throughout the day and into the days ahead. At just a short distance here on this roadside, the march where up to 50,000 people are expected to attend is going to march past. There's a big security operation here. There's lots of police that have barricaded off this centre of Moscow in preparation for this morning march. And, you know, you get the sense, Christy, that even though Boris Nemtsov was a fringe figure politically in Russia because of his opposition views, because of his opposition to the war in Ukraine, to the economic situation in Russia, <coughs> and to the political situation in Russia, um, a lot of people are coming out now and they're saying, look, we're giving it a second thought about what he said. And so one of the big questions is, will this killing change the popularity of Vladimir Putin? Will it change the opinion of Russians when it comes to opposing points of view in the country? We don't have the answer to that question yet. We may get a better idea of it uh, with this rally, with this morning march later on today. Yeah, I, in his last radio interview, um, he called on people to join this anti-war rally that was supposed to happen today that has come, become a march for him. And he said, our march can sober the Kremlin up. If 100,000 people come out, it could turn the Kremlin around. It will be an absolute shock for them. How pivotal was this rally expected to be prior to his death? And how different do you think it will be today because of his death? Well, I mean, the rally was going to be a big one. It was on the outskirts of Moscow, which, which pushed it to the perimeters, if you like, both literally and metaphorically. Um, um, but it wasn't clear that that was ever going to have an impact on Russian politics. Remember, within the past few days, there's been new opinion polls coming out about Vladimir Putin's popularity. It's running at 86 percent, which is even higher than it was, you know, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago. It's actually been increasing his popularity. And so in that context, an opposition rally was never going to make much of an impact. But of course, now the situation may have changed beyond recognition. Boris Nemtsov has been gunned down. Even people that did not pay attention to opposition politics in this country are now sitting up and saying, you know, our country has really taken a, a turn in a dark direction. Uh, and I've seen lots of people come through here and lots of people that I know in Russia who haven't thought about politics before very seriously are now thinking, well, maybe now is the time to think about what Boris Nemtsov said about the direction Russia is taking. Isn't that interesting to think that his death may bring about the kind of change or at least awareness that he was hoping to bring about when he was alive? Matthew Chance, so appreciate your, your update for us. Thank you.